In this screencast, we'll look at the channel-specific grid functionality and presets in Acknowledge. There are a variety of useful ways that grids can be used when working with a data file. On a basic level, grids can be enabled or disabled for the entire graph by holding down the Alt or Option key and clicking on the Grid button. Again, to remove, hold down and click again, and the grids will disappear from your graph. You can also disable grids for a specific channel by clicking on the channel to make it active and clicking the grid button, or by right-clicking on the channel and deselecting the grid. When you have grids enabled on your display, there are a variety of ways that you can customize how they appear. Newer features in Acknowledge is customizing grids per channel of data. What this means is that we can have a different grid setting for, say, our ECG waveform than we do for our alpha EEG waveform. Let's first create a customized grid for our heart rate channel. To do this, we can right click, select grid options, and here we can choose the line color, width, and style for our grid. So for example, I could instead make our grid lines blue and thicker, and we could turn them to dashed lines. And we could also do this for the minor grid lines if we would like. Choose to apply this to all channels or just for this specific channel. So we'll leave that unchecked so it just applies to this channel. If we're doing a locked grid, we can choose to adjust the horizontal or vertical scale based by start or end parameters or middle point or range parameters. You can then click on OK. I can enable the grid and you'll see that we now have a dashed blue line for the grid. What we can do is adjust the spacing for our dashed lines. Right click again and select adjust grid spacing. Now here we can choose our vertical grid division. Instead of 5 beats per minute we can change this to 10 by locking the grid and entering 10 and we can choose our first grid line to appear at 60 beats per minute. We can choose to show or not show our minor divisions. And for the horizontal, we can also do a channel specific grid. And let's say we want to do every 10 seconds per division, first grid line at zero. And again, I'll choose to show our minor and I'll click on OK. And now what you'll see is that we have the heart rate channel with dashed lines at 70 and 60 BPM. And what this does is it allows us to see easily if our heart rate is going below 60 or above 70 beats per minute. What we can also do now is auto scale horizontal and now you can see our grid lines here showing the 10 second bins. And what this does is this just allows you to set up your grids in a way that you find useful during your study. Now, if you find a grid configuration that you'll find useful for future recordings, what you can do is save them as a preset. To do this, you right-click, scroll down to Grid Preset, select New Preset, and then you can enter a descriptive name. So I would call this Heart Rate 10 Seconds 60 to 70, and click on OK. Other useful grids that you can set up for your signal would be something like a clinical ECG grid. Let me show you an example of that now. I'm going to select our ECG channel and I'll hide a couple of these so we can maybe see a little better. Okay, so I can right click, go to my grid preset, and I can choose ECG grid. We can also make different variations of this grid such as making it red or with thick lines. Now if we auto scale our waveform as I just did for this ECG channel, you'll see that because we've locked our grid, it has not changed our vertical division lines. If we were to unlock the grid, and do an auto scale, you'll see that now it's changed our grid divisions. So as you can see, setting up customized grids for individual channels can be quite useful. 
you can have one grid for your heart rate that can give you an easy ballpark of where the range is. You can have a separate grid with clinical ECG settings and you can continue to create custom grids for different channels. And then once you've got this set up for all the channels you're recording, you can save the whole thing as a graph template file so you can use it with all your future recordings of the same signals. If you decide you no longer want a specific preset you've created, you can right click, go to Grid Preset, go down to Organize Presets, and from here you can select the one you no longer need and delete it. You can also rename it and change the order of your presets and how they appear in the list. Once you've made your changes, you can click OK. You can also access some of the grid settings from the display menu such as resetting your grids. This removed my custom grid from the heart rate channel as it was the selected channel and you can go back in to your adjust grid spacing menu options. Lock that vertical grid at a 10 second beats per minute per division and click OK. And you'll see now we've got those lines again for the major divisions at 60 and 70, but they're the default colors. And we could again go in through grid options to change those to something else. Yet another way that we can change the grids on our graph is with the grid tool. The grid tool is located here on our main toolbar. If we click it, our cursor will then become the grid tool. And we can zoom in and change our grid division lines simply by clicking and dragging the grid tool. If I wanted to make it larger, I can draw a larger area. If I want to make the division smaller, I can draw a smaller area. We can change how our grids are displayed simply by clicking and zooming with the grid tool. As you might notice, on certain channels, the grid tool shows both a vertical and a horizontal icon. This is because the horizontal and vertical are not locked on that channel. If I go to this channel, you'll see I can only do alterations to the vertical as the horizontal is locked by the only we can tell that by the icon only having the vertical bar showing as opposed to vertical and horizontal. And these are some of the main features of the grid functionality in Acknowledge. For more information, you can watch additional Acknowledge software tutorials on our website or contact us at info at biopac.com or 805-685-0066.